Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Mortal Kombat 11 and welcome to the first character tutorial I'm doing for Mortal Kombat 11. I mentioned that I would be starting to focus on more character specific stuff going down the line just because I'm kind of running out of general things to talk about. I've covered, I feel like, most topics related to how to play this game. So yeah, now it's time to focus on characters. So basically how this is going to be structured is each episode is gonna have one character in the focus mainly characters that I am very familiar with basically characters that I main so yeah it's just gonna be kind of me giving you a game plan breaking down the character talking about their best moves and just how to play them episode number one is going to be focused on Scorpion why wouldn't it be Scorpion has been my main since the beta actually uh, I don't know what exactly made me drawn to Scorpion. I wasn't particularly a big fan of him in MKX. However, for some reason, I just like really like his gameplay in this game. I think they nailed him. Like, I feel like he's a lot more fun instead of just being like a run cancel 50-50 machine that he was in MKX. You need to play him a lot smarter. Luckily, Scorpion is incredibly strong in this game. People usually, well... Not usually. Some people put him in like S tier and top 5. Personally, I don't agree with that. I don't think this is one of the best characters in this game. However, is he very high on the tier list? Of course. Top 10 for sure, I would say, in the entire game. The reason it, this is, is because Scorpion is probably the best character at controlling neutral. Like, if you're fighting Scorpion, you have to adjust to his playstyle. Uh, zoning is pretty much out of the question kind of hanging back is pretty much out of the question because the threat of teleport is so great and it leads into so much damage that it's always going to be in the back of your mind like anti-airing him is difficult because he can go into teleport yeah the teleport is such a great tool conversely on the flip side the reason i can't say that scorpion is one of the best characters in the game is because he does have a few problems mainly he has real trouble opening people up. Like, his mix-ups are incredibly slow, very easy to react to. Really, the one mix-up threat is throw, as Scorpion lacks any star sort of overhead starter uh, in most variations. And even the variations where he does have overhead starters, they are very slow and very unsafe. That's the other weakness of this character. Scorpion is incredibly unsafe. Teleport... Spear, pretty much any move you can think of. Most of his combo strings, except a few, are very, very unsafe. So you do have to be very careful with playing this character. And you do have to accept that if you make a bad read, you are going to eat a punish. Alright, let's go into some of Scorpion's best pokes. The ones worth mentioning are down 4. Huge range on this. Very, very good poke. 3% uh, damage, so none the most damage, but... Hey, you can very, very easily kind of not zone out your opponent, but outpoke your opponent because the range on it is ridiculous. It's always been the case with Scorpion's down four. This has always been like that. But even if you're like starting the game, you walk a little bit closer to your opponent and you are already in range. I like to check people with this a lot. If they are being like very aggressive using a lot of high attacks, this move absolutely destroys some of the characters that have... Uh, trouble with like not having mid starters so like Shao Kahn, Kotal Kahn, uh, any type of character like that is gonna absolutely get wrecked by down 4. Second poke worth mentioning is Scorpion's back 3. This is Scorpion's universal overhead, uh, he has this in every variation, safe on block, low crushes, so if I set Gears to do a down 4, and I time it correctly. As you can see, this move hops over any down 4 and low attack. That's what I mean by low crushing. Uh, it's basically any move that avoids a low attack. Because Scorpion goes into the air. Again, safe on block. Great on knockdown. Yeah, this is for sure Scorpion's best universal overhead. Finally, last book worth mentioning is Scorpion's forward 3. Very, very good move. Forward advancing mid attack uh, goes into a combo string which leads into a deadly crushing blow. Very easy to counter attack people with this. 
negative two on block so very close to being a uh, neutral on block it sets up scorpions kind of space out game people are going to be scared to do anything after so you can go into blocked four three into throw because people are scared of this it offers a bunch of options and i don't see people using it nearly as much as people should be like people who play scorpion so those are the pokes out of the way he does have some other good ones down three down one most of his pokes are great generally i would avoid this one uh unless you're in this variation with the teleport cancel but even still i tend to avoid this move it does have two hits it does end in an overhead but it's way too unsafe all right let's get into some combo strings starting with one one and one one two now one one is your basic punish uh very fast fastest startup goes into good damage so one of the defining characteristics of scorpion is that he does great damage so something like this that's gonna put the fear into your opponent 32 percent damage or 327 damage yeah that hurts so punishing with this is a very solid option if you have bar if you don't have bar you can go into 112 this string on its own outside of that specific situation does not have too many uses except in combos so in the neutral this is not the best string it's semi safe on block i can think it's negative six so yeah safe on block but that's not the real kind of special thing about this move the special thing about this move is that it is by far scorpion's best combo ender the reason is because this 112, look at how close it leaves Gears. So you end the combo in this, you are right in the opponent's face. Here you can go down four, you can throw, you can do something like uh, if your opponent is gonna wake up like shimmy and just rinse and repeat. Even though Scorpion has way more damaging combo enders, in terms of leaving you in an advantageous situation, it doesn't get much better than ending in 112. You can also end in Spear, of course, but we'll get into that later. This is by far, I would say, Scorpion's best combo ender. 212. I tend to avoid this move in the neutral. It is very plus on block, but the last hit has a massive gap in it. Uh, the real kind of draw of this move is the crushing blow. So the requirement is using it in a combo with eight or more hits. So in terms of damage, it's not much, but it does set up for damage over time. So you can deal a good chunk. That That is a good chunk of damage for, well, two bars, but, you know, a scorpion, man. Very easy crushing blow to get. So I, oh, I use it in almost every match I play with scorpion because, you know, it can just like give you that little bit of extra damage you need. Not that this character suffers from not having damage. Next combo string is the back one four and back one four three the back one four is your basic low combo starter goes mid to low uh leads into most scorpion combos whether you're doing one bar or two bar ones the thing about this move the thing you have to consider is this is a fairly slow on startup even though it has good range although i would say that the range on this is not as good as it looks uh, it is a mid attack, but you do have to be careful because it's slow on startup and it takes like three years to recover if you whiff this. So on its own, back one, I would avoid. What I would recommend doing is learning how to hit confirm this string. This string is not the easiest to hit confirm. I've talked about this in my hit confirming guide, but learning how to hit confirm this move is crucial because... The only way to make this safe is if you end in the three, which is a mid kick. That leaves you negative five, so safe on block. Yeah, practicing the hit confirm for this is very important for Scorpion. Next up, four, three, four. I kind of already mentioned this move. Uh, the real draw of this, aside from the fact that on block, it leaves you in a very advantageous position. Like, look at how far it knocks the opponent away. A lot of characters won't be able to do jack shit from this range, so something like this into down four uh, can be very effective. 
where the real strength of this move comes from is if you counter something with it it leads into one of scorpion's best crushing blows so this is a crushing blow that launches and it launches into massive damage believe me this crushing blow is very very simple to get you have a couple of options following from this if your opponent cannot break away uh, I would recommend going for the teleport even though I would say practice the timing because uh, going for a special move after this move can be a little bit weird in terms of the timing so practice it if you see that your opponent has the ability to break away I would for sure recommend going for the spear again like yeah this move the special cancel timing is a little bit strange on this move I cannot get my goddamn spear to come out it's not easy yeah this is a this is a weird move there we go so yeah you can go into that and that will be unbreakable again keep this in mind this is a very very good counter attack move finally let's talk about scorpions forward throw forward four two and four four two three this is his low and overhead combo starting string this move is way easier to hit confirm like you basically have a year to look at whether the second hit hits and decide on whether to go into teleport or end with the three the three is safe less safe than this move but still safe and of course you can go into all your standard bmbs if you're gonna be practicing hit confirming with scorpion i would for sure go, go for this more the only reason uh that this move kind of suffers is because it doesn't have nearly the range that this move does so that about covers most of scorpion's strings really i only left out a couple well actually one which i might as well talk about just avoid this move it's way too unsafe on block doesn't offer a mix-up just yeah stay away from back one for one it's shitty Special moves, universally, Scorpion has his teleport, of course, mid can be amplified, more difficult than, to punish than you think, uh, po very possible, so very possible to punish, the only thing you have to be ready for is when you block it, uh, it is possible to very, very slightly delay the amplify, not by much, but it is possible, just keep in mind, if you block this, uh, you are essentially dead so well if your opponent blocks this you are essentially dead so yeah as you can see you have about a year to react yeah that's the teleport what it does do is offer good space control again projectiles you can reaction teleport long range moves you can reaction teleport pretty much anything you can reaction teleport it can be used as a punish I've, I've done it before for moves that might be trickier to punish and of course it sets up for all the scorpions scorpion combos you can think of god i can't even talk today all right so that's teleport can be done in the air of course as well uh next up is the spear the spear weirdly enough has been made a lot better of a projectile still wouldn't recommend trading blows with like i don't know scarlet but do not be as scared to throw it out uh kind of in the neutral as scorpion players tend to be in like other nrs games because this has always been very very unsafe both on block and on whiff but in this game it's less so so yeah you can you can definitely throw it out and if you catch your opponent uh just like you know uh, the 112 it leaves the opponent very close main disadvantage of course is the side switch but with amplification it it is not a problem yeah, there's even a crushing blow off of it which is has some weird requirement i think the uh, the requirement is to hit full screen. Yeah, yeah, it is. Doesn't deal nearly enough damage, I would say. Yeah, very situational. But still, spear, great move. Next thing to talk about 
Well, actually, we've covered all the... Yeah, all the universal moves. <laughs> Scorpion doesn't offer much. So let's get into the variation specific stuff, starting with competitive variation number one, which is called Reborn, not Deathly Sting. This is, you know, NRS shit, although there is some way apparently to select uh, tournament variations now, whatever. It doesn't matter. First variation is called Reborn, first tournament variation, and it offers two things. The less interesting of the things is the air grab. Uh, it's pretty standard air grab. Slams them into the ground, does 10% damage. Ah, I never use this. I don't think I've, outside of like very specific situations, I don't think I've ever used this thing. But hey, it's there, it's there. The more interesting thing about this variation is that for a defensive bar, you can cancel your teleports. There's two ways to cancel your teleports. One just puts you like at full screen. So you can do something like this. I tend to avoid this cancel of the teleport, but you know, if you do something unsafe and you see the opponent has blocked it, bam, just teleport away. So in that it's very good. You do sacrifice defensive meter, so be careful. If you play this variation uh, and you use its tools fully, you are most likely not gonna really have access to breakaways and wake ups because the teleport cancellation is kind of the key. The main advantage of this variation, of course, is that you can say you can relatively stay safe. There's mix-up potential here as well. Uh, if your opponent is blocking because they're scared of the teleport hitting, you can mix them up by going for a throw or going for some sort of combo. Just be aware that this is not a real thing, so the opponent can react and can punish with his own 1-1. One -one. So just be careful of that. It's very risky, however, because you can just like mix them up again by letting the teleport rock. So again, if you enjoy the simpler version of Scorpion, I would say this is the more basic version, but also the one that kind of has more mind games and more potential to, say, to stay safe, I would say go for Reborn. In terms of combo damage, there is not that much difference between the variations. Both of them offer solid damage. And most of the Scorpion combos are universal, so <clears throat> just keep that in mind. Variation number two, the one that I play, the more interesting one in my opinion. Although with Scorpion, uh, which variation you pick really just comes down to preference, is Deathly Sting. That's the tournament variation's name. Here, Scorpion uses a lot more spear moves. Uh, or like chain moves, I would say. He has a couple of new combo strings and he also has a couple of new special moves. Starting with the combo strings, let's look at Wrath. So Wrath is basically a combo ender. So go for something like this. Yeah, the damage is kind of in between. Uh, you do less damage than if you go for a spear, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, that's 293. This does... No, this does 300. Damn, it does more damage. Well, that's good to know. Hey, we already learned something new today. So yeah, in this variation, that is probably the most optimal combo. And there doesn't give bad spacing either. That's the thing about this. Uh, yeah, that is decent spacing. There's another aspect of this move which we'll get into. But, his other move, Hack and Slash, now this is some real shit. Scorpion this, in this variation actually gains a proper overhead starter. Now, there are some caveats to this move. First of all, this move is absolutely terrible on whiff. This move whiffs... Just look at how long it takes for Scorpion to recover before I can jump. Basically, if you make a mistake and one of the things that tends to happen is you hit the opponent out of the air. So if I go to movement mode, jump. So what tends to happen is that you hit your opponent out of the air. Let me just... Yeah, something like this. If something like that happens, the opponent has a ton of time to just wake up and punish with basically anything they want. If this move is blocked, you are screwed. Because 
it is negative 25 on block. And the final thing that makes this move not cheap in my opinion, not that cheap, is that there is no way to make this move safe. None of the moves that Scorpion gets in this variation actually allow him to stay safe. So pretty much if this is blocked, you're a goner. So you're gonna be eating a full punish. That's why it's very, very important to practice how to punish Scorpion. All right, covered the new strings. Let's cover the new special moves with the death spin. So death spin, it's a mid attack. Scorpion does that little spin thingy. And yeah, it deals okay damage. It can actually hit the opponent out of the air. And yeah, you can just kind of go for stuff like that. Doesn't deal a lot of damage, but but in combos, you can you can go for it. Thing about this move though, is if you use it in combos, like look at how far away it knocks your opponent. Like this is not the best uh, kind of place you wanna be with Scorpion. Something like this gives a lot more of an advantage for you instead of being at this distance. But do keep this move in mind. Uh, it does synergize well and you can do some like cheeky shit with it. Uh, something like that in the low poke. I've done that a lot. And the last thing about this move is that it has great chip out potential. So if your opponent is down to the last sliver of health, something like, I think something like that is gonna uh, probably chip them out. This move actually synergizes very well with the final unique special move for this variation, the Burning Spear. It is a spear buff. So when you use this, any move that uses the spear will deal more damage. So that's 119. It does 110, so you get uh, nine more damage if you have the buff active. And this literally only applies to moves that use the spear. So his forward throw gets more damage because it uses the spear itself. The back throw doesn't because it, you know, it uses no part of the spear. Yeah, it still does 140. Uh, this move deals more damage. Yeah, and of course this move deals more damage. So when you have this buff active, going for as many moves as you can that use the spear uh, is very advantageous. Just look at how much damage that dealt. That's one bar, 400 damage for a one bar combo. So yeah, something like that. You When you have the buff active, you wanna maximize the spear as much as possible. This also has an amplify on it, which actually has a hitbox. It's kind of strange. Uh, still unsafe though, so just keep that in mind. And yeah, very difficult to hit with. I don't tend to use this, but I've seen people go for something like this and the opponent tries to punish and they get hit by the flame. I tend to avoid that, but you do get the buff for uh, basically free because the opponent cannot really counter this, not with uh, actual combos at least. And that pretty much covers Deathly Sting as well. Again, I tend to prefer this variation. The amount of damage this character gets in this variation is kind of redonkulous because shit like that is just so easy. It's just so, so easy. And just look at that. Just look at that, huge, huge damage. So yeah, I like my damage, so I like this variation. With fully admitting that the other variation is way better for actual, like competitive, but I would guess competitive variation. Why is because it can stay safe. But this one is more interesting, it's more fun. Overall, Scorpion, I would say, is a very, very interesting character. He fills a niche, and I think the reason why people have so much trouble and bitch about him so much is because you have to fight Scorpion specifically. You can't fight Scorpion like you would any other character in the game. You have to adjust to his playstyle and that can make people pretty salty. Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and deny that this character isn't strong. He is extremely strong. Like, just in terms of damage alone, this character is kind of messed up. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Is he overpowered though? I wouldn't say. He has very obvious, very exploitable weaknesses. 
It's just the thing I tend to see is that people don't know what to do against him. So they don't punish stuff where they should. Uh, they don't punish the teleport properly. And they eat a lot of damage because of it. So yeah, I would say if you're having trouble with Scorpion, go into practice mode because literally anything he does is unsafe. Like look at look at the frame data on his special moves. Like. These are easy punishes. Well, this one is weird because uh, we don't count this one. But look at that. Negative 65. And his combo strings, most of them don't fare better either. So I think that about wraps it up for Scorpion. Yeah, this character is fun. Very strong. Very good to play. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Do let me know what type of other MK videos you want to see. Uh, again... Right now, I'm really only comfortable doing a guy like this for Scorpion because I'm so familiar with him. But later down the line, I will be talking about other characters as well. And there will be a series as well where I tr kind of try out characters which I want to pick up or I think might be interesting. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.